Hi, this is Dr. Callie Estes, the Addictions Coach in the Addictions Academy, and I am going to talk to you today about food addiction. You know there's drug addiction, alcohol addiction, sex addiction, gaming, gambling, you name it. Food is something we overlook, and the reason for that is food is necessity, right? For example, when you think of food, you think of a banana, right? That's food, very simply put. But what happens when we start getting into food-like product? Food-like product. Probably gonna get sued from Doritos. Food-like product, it was made from original foods, but then it becomes a food-like product and not exactly food. Food is one thing, multiple things is not food. It becomes a dessert. So, how do we get addicted to food? How do we get addicted to bad food? You never heard anybody say, I'm addicted to bananas or I'm addicted to grapes, have you? You've seen crazy things like people eating wallpaper, but you've never really heard people eating healthy things. These are healthy things. Watermelon is a food. I have a plum. I have a peach. These are foods. You don't hear that. You hear people say, I'm addicted to sugar. I'm addicted to candy. I'm addicted to chips. I'm addicted to sugar, right? I'm addicted to cookies. You can't just have one cookie and you can't just have one chip. You'll finish the bag either way. Why? Because there's chemicals in here and things in here that make your taste palate on your tongue want more. Those chemicals are not in a banana. That's why you have one banana and you're done. You're not craving the whole bunch of bananas, are you? Probably not. But you'll eat the entire bag of cookies. That has to do with chemicals in your brain and that you become addicted to certain types of food and not others. Things like this and this and this have a lot of chemicals in it that make you want more. Those chemicals are not in plums, they're not in peaches, they're not in bananas, they're not in grapes. So what is food addiction? Food addiction is when we find something that changes our palate that we crave more of. Think of cocaine, right? Cocaine changes the brain. People crave cocaine for a reason. They want it. They feel good. It boosts their serotonin. It boosts their dopamine. Well, you know what else does that? Sugar. Sugar boosts serotonin and dopamine, just like cocaine. So those of you that say, I would never try drugs, I would never do that, but if you have sugar or you have white flour or bread, guess what? It's peeing the brain just like cocaine. So we teach a food addictions coaching class at the Addictions Academy, and we talk about all of these things. We talk about different types of chemicals that make your brain want more versus whole foods. We talk about different types of dieting patterns. We have the South Beach diet, the keto diet, the cabbage soup diet, all these crazy diets, the Atkins diet, how they work and how they don't work. What do they actually do to your brain? They make things worse, not better. We cover that in food addictions coaching class. We also talk about anorexia and bulimia and overeating. And I'm very passionate about this class because food addiction was my drug of choice. So this was my drug of choice. I could eat four or five of these in one sitting and three or four bags in one sitting because I enjoyed it. I was addicted to it. So I want to teach you how to become a food addictions coach. And I want to teach you how to help other people break the addiction from absolute garbage foods and get into understanding how they can feel better with other types of foods. How you can curb an eating disorder. How can you help anorexia? How can you help the binge purging? How can you help the binging and exercise problem? All of these things are taught in our food addictions class, and it comes with a nutrition coaching class. What? Yes, nutrition and recovery. People who were using drugs have a lot of problems with their health, right? They stop using drugs, they have gallbladder problems, they have liver problems, they have fatty liver problems, they have all these issues that arise all of a sudden. They have headaches, they've been malnourished, and they don't know how to repair their body. So we teach you in the nutrition class how to do that, and we teach you in the food addictions class how to break your addiction to food. So I hope to see you in our food addictions class, and I hope to see you in our nutrition addiction class. Nutrition in recovery and food addictions class come together along with ethics, 10 weeks of clinical supervision, that's 36 hours total for one low price. Okay, give us a call, 1-800-706-0318, and I will see you in class.